Hello, my name is Seba and I'm here to talk about C++ for Delphi developers. If you are an experienced Delphi developer, you may want to have C++ in your resume or you may want to broaden your horizon and start using one of the most popular languages today, C++, or stop the holy war in your brain, Delphi versus C++, win this battle like I did. Use Delphi and C++. There are some ways to start C++. First, to stare at Hello World simple application. The first reaction when a normal Delphi guy or lady sees this code is What can I understand? Nothing. The second reaction is Why and what for such a complicated language was invented at all? That's why I'm here with you. It's the worst way towards C++ because the Hello World application implies the simplicity. In order to understand this example, you need to know many, many things about C++. We'll cover all these in future, as there are the other ways from Delphi to C++. Second way is to find a good book and start your course from A to Z. It's okay if you have enough time, if you are a student for example, or not very much responsibilities. But if you are a Delphi guy, you can take the third way, the fastest, to start with C++ Builder. In this case, C++ Builder is not the development tool at this stage. It's a tool to understand C++ and start your applications. You'll have the same IDE, the same classes and components, and the same way of building applications. The only what you need is to understand the difference between Delphi and C++. You have already read these books, but you needn't to read these books about C++ Builder. The difference is not very great. Episode 1. Project Structure Let's consider two projects. Uh, the projects are alike. The same empty from scratch projects made in Delphi and C++ Builder. In Delphi, as usual, we can see DFM and pass file for the, the only and main form in the project. At the same time, in C++ Builder, we have three files. The first, DFM is just the same as in Delphi with the same text underneath. But the source code uh, is located not in one file, in pass file, but in two files, H file and CPP file. Let's discuss. Normally, pass file consists of two logical parts, interface part and implementation part. Once again, these are logical parts within the same source file. But you can take scissors and cut this solid file into two not logical, but physical parts. File 1 and file 2. The first file will contain interface part. The second piece will contain implementation. Let orange denote CBP. So in Delphi we have one file logically separated into two parts. While at the same time a classical CBP code consists of two files separated physically. First part header and second CPP file. That's tradition. In CPP we don't have interface as a keyword or implementation as a keyword denoting the logical parts of the file. We have two files, header file and CPP file. But how to glue these two files again in one? In C++ Builder we have a line include and this line glues these two parts together so let's go back to c++ builder first we have just a dfm a form in designer it's just the same as in delphi but pressing f12 we go down to the source code and that's the very line that glues two files together and the C++ compiler compiles the whole piece of code. This green line is called a directive of 
preprocessor. Preprocessor is a guy who works before the compiler. And the compiler will eat the whole piece of code. So comparing Delphi and C++, we can say that there is separation of the source code. In Delphi, we have logical separation and two key words. While in C++, we have two different files and a way to glue them together again. In the next episode, we'll start understanding everything in our H and CPP files in C++ Builder project, as we'll discuss the similarities and differences between object-oriented codes in Delphi and C++. If you are watching me today, don't miss our Code Rage 7 online C++ conference. Today, you'll be able to watch three R&D professional presentations. Don't miss the chance to join the online discussions. Even if you have just started your C++, some of the topics to be discussed are general and useful, like 64 bits, RTTI in Delphi and C++ Builder, and Boost Library as a great advantage of C++. Register now, and then we'll continue with our C++ startup.